Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve error code 19. You cannot start this hardware device because its configuration information in the registry is incomplete or damaged, and then it says code 19. So this should probably be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing, just do a simple restart of your computer. So attempt to restart your device and see if that resolves the problem. If that is unsuccessful at fixing the issue, what you want to do now is open up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should go back to regedit or registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Select the file tab and then export. File name, I would recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all. And then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So now that we're ready to begin, you want to go ahead and start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Do the same thing for current control set. Same thing for the control folder now. And then finally, there should be a class folder. Go ahead and double click on that. Please keep in mind if you need to pause the video at this point, you can just take note of the file path up at the top of the screen here. Each bank slash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. So now you want to look for a key that starts with 4D3. So again, 4D3. So I actually did a little curly bracket, so shift and the curly bracket next to P. So I tapped both of those at the same time. And then just started typing 4D3. So it's going to be 43D36E967. And then it should end with a 0318. So this is our keys right here. So just take note of it. You need to pause the video. You can. Again, you shouldn't have to scroll too far down. And then once you're here on the right panel, if you see an upper filters as well as a lower filters key, you want to delete both of them. So if there's a lower filters, just right click on it, select delete, select yes, and then do the same thing for the upper filters key. Select delete and then select yes. Close out of here and restart your computer. Okay, so now that our computer's restarted, that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.